I like to do lots of different little jobs, I suppose. So I always have about three or four different jobs going on at once. So I've got, I do festival work. I'm working for Chester Student Lets at the moment. I'm working on the Christmas market. I'm doing the vote count in a couple of weeks' time. So yeah, I like to just keep myself busy, really. Um, I mean, I'm into science. So I've done two science degrees. I'm on to my second one now. So I'm doing hematology masters. But other stuff I'm into, I'd probably say I like my music. I always like to have music on in my room. Obviously, I love food. Everyone loves food at my age, and I like to go out and have fun. Yeah, yeah, so I did my um, first degree here. So first one was biomedical science, BSc, so I graduated a few weeks ago. And then I'm doing hematology master's now for a year. Yeah, I just want to um, yeah, give myself the best chance in a couple of years' time. Hopefully something lab-based, clinical, hematology still specialising to something else, really, but the master's makes it more possible to do that. I think when I first came to Chester, I had lower expectations than I thought. So I remember coming here on the applicant day. It was the only university I looked around at all, but it grew on me very fast. Yeah, I made a lot of good friends, really fell in love with the course. All the lecturers are really nice here. And to be honest, I call it a home now. Yeah, I uh, like to be here more than in Birmingham. <laughs> um, I think it's just the fact everything's so close together. You know, you don't really need transport unless you go to the cinema. Like everything's walkable. You've got loads of history here. So you've got the walls, the country parts just up the roads, nice scenery and um, plenty of shops, plenty of stuff to do. Getting involved being an ambassador and doing stuff like open days and applicant days, campus tours. I was very shy, so that's the sort of stuff that's brought me out my shell and I'm comfortable doing that stuff now. Um, back in school and college, I mean, I've always been the same person, but as outgoing and as outspoken, probably not as much. All that sort of stuff up here, you know, helping out with the university, being involved, speaking to new people every time there's an open day, That's yeah, it does help a lot. Everyone's excited when they first come to university, and you should be. Because everything's so close together, a night out can encompass many different places if the bank account permits it. So, you know, you've got the SU on campus, so that's nice. On a Friday night as well, you've always got SU Fridays, so always absolutely hectic in there till about 3am. You've got two clubs in the heart of town. We've got, you know, two Weatherspoons, like, you know, you couldn't really ask for much more. And then we've got Off the Wall and some nice cocktail places as well kicking around. Instead of being in a bigger city like Manchester or Liverpool, or Birmingham, you know, you'd have to get the bus or the taxi somewhere. Everybody thinks walkable here, you know, unless the weather's horrific, which it never usually is, you know, you can easily get out and back home in the space of 30 minutes. I'd say just because of where it is situated, you know, I've taken advantage of all the different avenues you can get to places. So you've got Liverpool, which is just 40 minutes on the train, you know, lovely cultural city that I'd never had the chance to visit before. Manchester's about an hour and a bit the other way. So again, if you want to go and visit Manchester and you've not been before, that's what I've done. And then because we're on the border of Wales and uh, if you like the scenery, like there's a nice place called Conway just down the road, an hour on the train. When I'm not too busy with work, I'd probably say I just like being outside, to be honest. So walking up the canal, uh, up to the country park again, and then just doing a lap of the walls a couple of times. Oh, the river's lovely. Yeah, you can um, you can get off the wall actually halfway around go over the river and then there's like a little meadow walk across which is also really nice yeah so the whole thing sort of links in it's yeah it's a nice place to be outside. Grosvenor Park yeah I'd say that's the typical if you're going to come here for the first time everyone ends up going there you can feed the squirrels as well so they're very tame up here so get a bag of peanuts and you actually go on the floor and they will come right up to you and like eat out your hands like it's something I've not been used to. My favourite place in Chester, just the hill in the country park, to be honest, because you get a whole view of the landscape of Chester. So you can see the town there, the university, and then you can see the bits that go off into the distance as well. It's just much quieter than at home. You know, the outdoors up here, you've got, I mean, it's still busy because you've got traffic, but all you've got to do is just walk a mile up the road and it becomes much quieter. It's cleaner up here as well. You know, big cities don't have that clean air that you get privileged to up here. If I could sum up my experience in Chester, I'd probably say it far outbeat any expectations I had of it when I first came here. I mean, I was just into the whole let's move out of home and have fun, but that sort of sticks around but doesn't last forever. I think you get to enjoy the city more than you expect, you know, the places, the people, the friends you make, even the university lectures and the lecturers you meet. Once you've spent not even a year here, I'd say you will just fall in love with the places the views, the history, the university and the lecturers and all the friends you make.